I would like to join an Edmodo group. I'm signed on as a teacher in our pre-K to 8 group and I'm reading the assignment. I want to find a group that I'd like to join. The easiest way to do it is to click on this Google Docs link. It's going to open up a spreadsheet with all the Google code, the, uh, rather the Edmodo codes to join. And as I go down the list, I can see what might be interesting. So perhaps I'd like to learn more about brain breaks. So right here is the link for the Edmodo group. I am in Chrome and when I click on it, it says go to link. So I'm going to give that a click. It's going to try to open it up in Edmodo and it says you're requesting to join brain break. So I have to send a join request just like I did when I signed up for the pre-K to 8 group. And it may take some time for them to approve that. It depends on how active they are, how active the person is who created the group. So I'm going to go back home. Once I've joined a group, they'll appear on the left side along with the pre-K to 8. So you can see I've been testing things out. I've joined a group for Google Apps for Education, Universal Design for Learning Online, Catholic School Educators, Chrome, Google, and Web 2.0 Apps, and Skype Community. When new entries come into those groups, they'll be in the middle of the page. So as I slide down past my assignment to join an Edmodo group, I can see that the computer technology teachers had some posts and replies and they're a fairly active group so I have to pass by a lot. Somebody has something to Edmodocon which is an annual event and I can continue scanning on. So as you can see the Edmodo group is a really popular group. Finally 18 hours ago there was a post from a Mrs. Schaefer for Google Apps for Education looking for um, handouts of curriculums that they'd like to share, getting responses back from people. And she must have given the same thing to the computer technology group. If I want to look at a specific group, because they don't seem to be down here, I can click into the group. So I want to see what Skype community has. And the last thing that we had was a reflection on Mystery Skype. And that was back on December 19th. She has a link to her blog and some back and forth between some people. Then I'm going to click over to the Chrome, Google, and Web App community. Christmas was the last time that they had a posting. And then before that, back in October. So they're not a very active group, but yet I might find something that's a little older that sounds interesting that I never heard about before. Catholic School Educators had something back in early December. Universal Design for Learning, again early December. So you will find different pieces of information. When I found and joined a group, what I'm going to do is click Turn In, just like we always do and I'm going to type a response that um, I joined the Google Chrome group and I don't remember when I saw the posting so I'm going to have to go back So December 25th, October 26th. December 25th, October 26th. I joined the Google Chrome group. The last posting was December 25th and before that October 26th. And then I'm just going to look through that group and find one thing that I'd be prepared to share with everybody next week. So that's my little screencast about how to join a group.